Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Min Prison Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. That's my cat running around the house because he's in a mood. Anyways, um, either way, thank you for watching. Today we're gonna be planning the week of Monday, March 9th through the 15th in my vertical neutral Erin Condren Life Planner. And the kit I'm gonna be using this week is a tiny kit by Simply Gilded. Uh, this is a sticker kit that we got in a sub box. Um, does it say which one? No. So I don't remember which one. But it was the Enchanted Forest theme sub box. So I'm just not sure like what month it was or what year or whatever. Pretty sure it was 2019. But um, this was a kit that I held on to for a while because I really, really loved it. I thought it's so pretty. I really don't like the rose gold. I'm just not a rose gold or silver person. But the boxes are just stunning. They really give me like Fern Gully vibes. You know, that movie from the 90s. Um, and I loved Fern Gully. So these just, I don't know, like that whole scene is just like so Fern Gully to me. So um, I've been hoarding it and I just really wanted to use it before we get into spring since we're going to be using more light and playful kind of kits for spring. So um, it comes with these two sheets where you get eight full boxes, three, four, five, six, and eight. And then you get an extra one over here and some half boxes and like deco and checklists on this little extra bonus sheet right there. So this is the kit I'm going to be trying to make work this week. Uh, we don't have a lot of boxes you can see here to go with, but hopefully I'll be able to pull some stuff together. Um, I'm also going to be using a few extras in my sidebar since <clears throat> this kit is, it's very, you know, it's like a micro kit. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, one of these checklists from any leftovers from Aurora and Avalon creations from the Whispers of Fall kit. Because I always have a checklist in my sidebar. And then I'm also going to be using from that same kit this Monday through Sunday box because they came with two of them luckily. Um, and I do PR for Aurora and Avalon creations. I'm also going to be using my Grateful Four sticker by Cozy Paper Co. I was track my grateful my gratitude in the sidebar and that's another shop that I PR for and for headers this week I'm going to be using these rose gold headers from Cozy Paper Co. These uh, purple scalloped rose gold headers from Cozy Paper Co. and then these gorgeous um, it's a holographic shattered blue to purple foil from Rose Color Days. Um, it's actually a rainbow hollow foil that I received um, I bought these samplers I had to cut it to fit in my storage and it's so pretty because it's it's full on rainbow it goes you know all the colors of the rainbow um with the hollow like shattered hollow in the um background there you can see the rainbows are so pretty but I couldn't um she couldn't fit the whole rainbow on one sheet of the sampler so she ended up giving us two this one was mostly blue to purples and then the other one was like yellow green red so it was very very pretty I just can't get enough of that shattered hollow look at that wow okay obsessed. Anyways, that's what I'm going to be using as far as extras go. Here's a glimpse of last week in my planner. This was a kit by Green Darner Design <clears throat> or Designs. I don't know which one it is. Anyways, today is Sunday. I usually would film on Friday, but I'm a bit behind and I will go over why I'm a bit behind in my um, recap. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down the base of the kit while I do a voiceover and speed up like all of that stuff and recap this last week. So we'll be doing my bottom washi, my full boxes, my headers, my date covers, and my sidebar. Then when we get to Monday, I'll slow it down and we'll talk through it day by day. So let's get started. All right, so starting on Monday, uh, Monday, March 2nd. So I uploaded my plan with me um, from last week, obviously. And then also, um, I didn't really do much that day. I did go to the post office so I could check my PO box. I was supposed to do that on Friday, unfortunately. Um, but I didn't uh, get around to that. So I went on Monday and I got some surprise, sweet birthday, happy meal from a friend, Francesca. Um, and then I just kind of took a nap. It was a really quick nap though. It was like a 15 minute nap. But anyway, nonetheless, I did take one and I was still exhausted, but I did it. Anyways, that was all I did for Monday. Then on Tuesday, um, I actually, I put that I uploaded my March plan with me on Tuesday, but in actuality, I uploaded it on Monday. It was funny because I didn't even realize it. Um, I had thought I scheduled it for Tuesday, but then um, we were watching YouTube, my husband and I, and sometimes my videos will come up under recommended. And he was like, oh, look, one of your videos. And it was the March video. And I was like, wait, what? I was like... <laughs> wait what was I done editing that video what like I just totally didn't even remember it was, it was like wild I was like I had to go and check to make sure all the tags were correct you know make sure um monetization was turned on like just make sure I was done you know what I mean because usually 
I won't schedule a video to upload until I'm like done, 100% done. But sometimes when I'm having a hard time getting a video up, I'm taking too long, I will just schedule it and then I'll think of it as like a motivator. Like, I'm like, oh crap, my video is going up tomorrow. I need to hurry up and edit it, you know? So <laughs> I didn't know if it was either a case of I was for sure done and scheduled it or if I was not done and are trying to motivate, motivate myself. So that was a shock. But anyway, um, I just went on a walk for my lunch break. I didn't really have much to mark and I do that every single lunch break, but I just decided to mark it because again, I didn't have anything else to mark. Um, and I filmed my February haul on Tuesday as well. Um, and then I also had a walk after dinner and I marked it because I was excited that, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, no wait, was it Wednesday? I think it was Tuesday and Wednesday were the first two days I got back to hitting 10,000 steps a day. Um, I have not finished doing that for the rest of the week, unfortunately, but at least I was happy that we tried and we put in our best efforts on Tuesday and Wednesday. We did do it. Um, well, my husband didn't reach 10,000, but we went for a walk together and I did reach 10,000 those two days. I need to get back to making sure I get 10,000 steps Monday through Friday again. <clears throat> So, you know, I'm trying to make my health a priority. Um, then on Wednesday, my son had his choir. Oh, I was supposed to paint my nails that day, but this is when everything went like askew. So I was supposed to paint my nails, but I couldn't because my son had like um, a literacy night at his school that we wanted to go to. And I didn't know about this until um, kind of last minute, like the night before. So... Um, yeah, so that ended up, you know, we went to that for like about an hour and a half and then we went and got Blaze pizza for dinner and then we came home and it was, you know, like too late for me to pay my nails. So I was like, okay, I'll just pre-plan because I had a little bit of time. I still had maybe like 15 minutes where I could, um, have some time before I needed to like, you know, uh, get ready for bed and all this kind of stuff. So I just did a really quick pre-plan because usually I would pre-plan on Thursday, but, um, I did a quick pre-plan on Thursday, but then that meant that I had to paint my nail. I mean, I did the pre-plan on Wednesday instead, and then that meant I'd have to paint my nails Thursday. Um, I was also supposed to do my moon journaling um, as well on Thursday as on, on plan with my son too, but I didn't get to do that because I had to move painting, painting my nails to Thursday and it took up way too much time, as it always does. That's why when I plan on painting my nails, it's because I plan on not doing anything else that day. Like, literally nothing. Work, come home, that's it. But, um, yeah, so Thursday, I was supposed to moon journal and plan with my son, and that didn't happen because I had to paint my nails. Also, he was supposed to be at his dad's house Thursday and Friday, but he didn't go. So that was <clears throat> something I had to cancel as well. So whenever my plans get changed because of some certain things I have to cancel and move around, it really screws up the rest of my week. You know, because um, like I've said before, I don't have a lot of free time. So the free time that I do have, I have to plan wisely. And if it gets changed, you know, even if it's just because I'm too tired and I really just want to go to sleep and I don't want to do anything, that means that I can't just like be like, oh, whatever, I'll do it tomorrow. I, I just can't because I already have other things planned with my time for those days and I don't have the time to just do other things unless I'm going to be like staying up late and not getting any sleep. Then that's the only way. Um... <clears throat> So anyways, those things got messed up. Then Friday, um, my son had his soccer practice and it was trash eve. I was also supposed to film, but I felt like I was I was so behind from the week that I didn't get a chance to film. So I don't know what I did because I didn't put it in my planner because there's no room, but I didn't film. <laughs> um, Saturday, my son had bowling and then I went to work as always. I wasn't able to get as much done at work as I usually normally would like to do like I usually would edit my plan with me but I didn't film my plan with me so didn't get to do that but I did still do my usual like checking of emails and responding to YouTube comments and I was gonna apply for some jobs but I didn't get to do that but um what else oh I also was going to what did I oh we did a lot of meal planning that too um and then also I was supposed to, so I, so today is Sunday. <laughs> I'm still behind on quite a bit here. I need to moon journal because the full moon is on Monday, which is tomorrow. So I need to do my moon journaling. I also need to write my leap year letter because I, so what I do is I will, um, I started this in, I don't know, 2010, right? And then 14 and then, no, that's not right. So 20 to 16, right? 13? Yeah. 
I don't know. I'm so confused. I so when my son was a baby, let me think. When he was a, when he was a baby, he was born in '09. Um, I somehow stumbled across the idea of writing your child a leap year letter. Um, and it's kind of like a time capsule, you know, like you just write them a letter and then hold on to it and they open it on leap year, a leap day and, um, read it if they can, or, you know, if they're too young, you can read it to them. And then you write them another letter and then they open that four years later on February 29th again. So I did do it once and my son was, well, so he was born in 09 and then was, when was the leap year? I think he was born and then there's like a leap year the next year. Let me think. So 20, 16, 12, 8. Okay, so yeah, there's leap year in 2008. So I guess my first one would have been that I wrote him a letter in 2012. And then he opened it in um, 2016, I guess. Well, then how old would he would have been? 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That, yeah, he would have been six going on seven. Right, right, right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I wrote him a letter in 2012. Sorry, there's too much math going on here. Um, and then he opened that in 2016. And he was six years old, so he was able to read it, which was like a really, I remember that was being like a really like crazy letter to write because I was like, you know, my son is currently three, but then uh, by the time he reads this, he'll be able to read this, you know? And he's like three, he can't read yet. But by the time he reopens this letter, he'll be able to read it. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, crying. Um, so he was six going on seven. <clears throat> he was six and a half because um, he was born in August. So anyways, um, so I wrote him that letter. He read it. I made sure, you know, I didn't use a ton of like hard words or anything because I'm like, okay, a six-year-old is going to be reading this, you know? So he read it and I don't even remember. I kept it, but I don't remember what I did. Now, the only problem is that um, 2016 was a pretty busy year for me. Uh, it was the year that I got married. And so, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to like fully use that as an excuse. I don't know what my excuse is, but I didn't write him another letter. And I kept meaning to do it, um, but I just kept pushing it off, pushing it off. And then eventually after like six months to a year had gone by, I did still remember it. And I was kind of like, what's the point now? It's not even, I don't know. So I just felt really bad because that means that this year of 2020, he had nothing to open. He didn't even remember it. You know, he's, he doesn't remember from eight years ago when he opened or not eight years ago from, from 2016, from four years ago when he opened a letter that I'd written another four years prior. You know what I'm saying? But I remembered it. And so now I'm just kind of haunted with the fact that there's only going to be like four leap years before he's like 18 and I'm not going to write him leap year letters anymore, you know? Um, and I've missed one of them. So there goes another chance. But anyway, I'll probably spend my next four years until the next leap year crying about it because I'm mad at myself for making that dumb decision to not take 10 minutes or so to write him a letter. Um, but yeah, that's just my mistake and what I have to live with. So anyways, this year, however, so he had nothing to open this year, but this year, however, I was like, let's not be stupid this time. Let's just do it. You know, I mean, obviously as I've always said, I don't have a lot of time, but you know, you really have to prioritize the things that are important to you. And so if this is important to me and a big deal to me, which it is because he's my only child and he's only going to be, you know, under 18 for eight, seven, year, seven and a half more years. So, um, that's not a long time at all. And that means there's only two more leap years left. So I want to do this. And so, yeah, it's just going to mean I'm going to have to, you know, maybe, um, not get to do this for myself, not get to do that for myself, you know, maybe I can't go for a walk that night and I won't hit 10,000 steps. Obviously my health is a priority, but my son is a higher priority to me. So I'm going to write him a leap year letter. So I'm going to write him that letter today and make sure I do it as soon as possible. That way I don't end up pushing it off and pushing it off until, oh, look, it's been another four years and I haven't written him a letter. So, um, I'm going to make time to do that today as well as buy our groceries and get some gas and celebrate International Women's Day. So happy International Women's Day to all my ladies out there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with Monday. Let me zoom out a little bit. I love, I have to say, I love what I did with these headers, the Rose Colored Days headers. They look so gorgeous. This pattern is getting too fat to like use um, folded like that because this side is much heavier. But I just love how I put like all the blue ends and the purple ends like meeting because I was starting, this one looks like way off. I was starting to put them like just all on the same side blue on the left and purple on the right you know at first and then I was like wait a minute 
I have an idea. So I am obsessed with this foil. This rainbow foil is so stunning. Um, that's better. A little bit. Anyways, I don't like the dots. We'll just, I can't. I just said I can't do that. It's too fat. Okay. Sorry. Let's move on to Monday. <laughs> so first up on Monday, uh, my son doesn't have school. Um, I'm not sure why. It was just like some kind of like staff, staff day or something. I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, he doesn't have school and I don't have no school sticker. So I'm just going to use some little quarter boxes that I have from Cozy Paper Co. This is like an older sampler that she used to have. It's just like a purple and rose gold foil with a little bow on the top there. And so I'm going to use that just right in no school. Uh, I also need to upload this plan with me here that you're watching. So I'm going to use my rose gold triple arrows by my newest addiction. And I always point those up for uploads. And then it's also going to be a full moon. Um, and so I have these new, like moon, what are these moon phase stickers by Wild Summer Designs. I already used a couple for my monthly, but I thought that these were so cute to use. I haven't used them yet officially like on camera. Um, so these are her little hand-drawn doodles that she has in her shop available. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use that to mark the full moon, but I do need, I want to mark it over a box. Um, I have this really pretty um, rose gold, like deep pink um, sticker by The Giving Girl. I got these in like a grab bag. And it's like doesn't quite match the kit but like these deep colors do match the kit i don't know I'm, i have a lot of fun with these like simply gilded kits because it's kind of a challenge to try to you know find things that i can pull in from my functional collection that match because you know her kits like i said are so small that you just don't even get a lot to work with you have to kind of either be okay with a lot of white space or just use what you have you know because you've got some icons you can use and a few checklists and of course you got all your boxes and like a few flags but as far as writing everything else you'd have to write on the white space she just recently started doing these little additional mini page where you've got some half boxes to use um but then that's it you know that's only four half boxes so there's no there's not a ton of half boxes not a ton of quarter boxes so with her kits you either have to be okay with writing on your planner and, and not you know using stickers to write on a lot um or just pulling from your own collection so that's what's always fun about the Simply Gilded uh, stuff, the kits from Simply Gilded. So let's go ahead and that's it for Monday, I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to Tuesday. So for Tuesday, I'm going to be uploading my February haul. So let's use another one of those arrows. Um, and point that up for upload again. I just always like to do that. Mm. Okay, we'll just do it right here. Are you, in, are you in the frame? Yeah. Um, so we're going to upload that. And then usually I would do my nails on Wednesdays, but I'm going to move that to Tuesday. I'm going to move it actually all the way down here. However, since I, like, I do like to, whenever I do my nails, I'm doing them as soon as I get off work and then all the way until, you know, right before bed. So um, I'm going to put it down there. And I'm going to take one of these boxes from Coast Paper Co. This is, again, another older, like $1 Wednesday. Um, that she had in rose gold the little heart down there and I have a nail polish icon by Cozy Cooper Co. Uh, these are gold so I you know not everything's rose gold in this spread most of it is but I just wanted to use these ones because I thought that they I do have rose gold nail polish icons but I thought these ones would be so fun because this, this is part of one of her galaxy collections and it's got the moon and the stars and while this isn't a moon and star kit it just kind of reminds me of that with all the like little twinkly stars and the stardust and you know kind of sort of celestial not totally like celestial theme but close enough I don't know I thought it was cute anyways you know me I don't mind mixing my metals as long as you can tell what the main metal is I don't mind if there's a few extra pops here and there of other metals so anyways, um whoops what was that for nails yes um my nail routine I do like <clears throat> it takes me a couple of hours to do my nails and that's because I don't just like take the polish off and throw on a new polish um I actually like you know push back my cuticles and like get rid of the uh, dead skin make sure I file them really good, reshape them as well. Like all that stuff. I basically do like a full blown manicure. So it does take a while. 
So yeah, I'll just come home and then I'll basically the first hour or two of my day, or no, hour, hour and a half is taking off my polish and doing the cuticles. And then I have to start dinner and then clean up after dinner and pack our lunches and then get myself ready for bed, like brush my teeth and wash my face and shower and stuff. Um, then that way it's time to put my son to bed. And then after he goes to bed, I can just do the, the polish because all the prep work was done. And I made the mistake last week of forgetting to like get myself ready for bed after like I had already painted my polish and I was like, well crap, because now my nails are still wet. And how am I supposed to be like flossing and brushing my teeth and washing my face when my nails are wet? And they did get smudged. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but like, there is, see, look, there's some dents right there in that corner. And then there was a huge dent right here I had to fix. Anyways, so yeah, these are the nails that I messed up last week. But anyway, so I'm doing my nails Tuesday instead of Wednesday because Wednesday I'm going to be filming, I'm going to try to be filming a little special bonus video. Um, so it'll be a surprise. I'm going to use a different color of the Giving Girl notch bow boxes up here. Actually, no, let me put it down here because I'm going to be filming like after work. So I'll put that down there. I don't know why I put it as the first thing of the day. That's not right. And then I'll use another arrow. I always use these arrows for anything just YouTube related. So that's going to be for filming. So my little special bonus video I'm going to be trying to do on Wednesday. <laughs> Wish me luck. Um, and then, of course, my son always has choir on. Let me see choir on Wednesday morning so let's do hmm, okay let's do one of these um I've gotten this sampler where I use for my headers some little quarter boxes from rose color days so let's just use one of these guys since this foil is so freaking pretty and I've got my uh Magic Prince Co uh music note icons which I did not order in rose gold because I just typically don't like rose gold but so yeah, this is going to be a little pop of gold there. Whoops. There you go. Uh, so he's got choir and then also it is Cozy Paper Co's $1 Wednesday. She does a $1 Wednesday every week. Um, and so like I mentioned, this is um, an example of an older $1 Wednesday where you get the same size of the sheet. And if it's on the premium matte paper like this, let's move it down a little. You get this sheet for $1.25. Um, is it a little crooked? Yeah, so a sheet like this on the premium mat is $1.25, and then another $1 Wednesday like this. See, same size, but it's clear paper, so it's $1.50. So it's a really great deal to get stickers for under two bucks. Um, you know, it's like a $2 Tuesday, but it's even cheaper. <laughs> and she holds them every Wednesday. And if you mention my name in the notes, you'll get my gold foiled deluxe freebie. So make sure you mention my name when you go and check out Cozy Paper Co. for $1 Wednesday. So it was pretty much almost shop every single one on Wednesday that's why I mark them so often is because I'm like it's just it's exciting it's like exciting to see like what kind of theme she's going to do because it switches every week the colors switch every week she's got seasonal colors too and then she'll do new designs like new doodles or like new pretty backgrounds it's just so exciting so <laughs> I always mark that and then also my son has robotics um after school so I'm going to mark that with, I'm going to, I want to use one of these very pretty black marble with a, has, has hexagon, what's the word, <laughs> with a gold foil hexagon. I didn't get rose gold in these, but you know, I just want to use it. This is another $1 Wednesday from Cozy Paper Co. This is actually a recent one. And um, I don't know, I just want to do something a little dark because see, there are some darker colors in the kit. There's a little bit of darkness to it. So I thought, you know, a few black ones here and there. I do got some more black ones coming up. So it'll kind of pull together. This won't be the only black one. But yeah, I just love that marble. So that's going to be just, I'm going to write in that is robotics. And then that's it for my little busy Wednesday there. Usually the first half of my week is like super, not nothing going on. Um, then moving on to Thursday. I got to remember that I have these half boxes too, because like might as well use them, right? Okay, so moving on to Tuesday. No, sorry, Thursday. I need to edit that plan with me that I'm doing with my son. So let's go ahead and use one of these. I love these stardust like ones at the top it looks like the washi these are are these oh I think they're a little bigger than a half box her box sizing is like a bit strange though because it's not like it's not supposedly made exactly for the Erin Condren see like all this extra white space right here to the right of the box even though I lined it up it's because they're not like perfectly sized for an Erin Condren planner which I've said before is kind of annoying but 
what are you gonna do? I really should be using my undo because it's kind of ripping the paper a little bit, but I'm just too lazy for that. So anyways, what is this for? Oh yeah, I need to edit that video I'm doing. Um, So I'm gonna <clears throat> use my arrows again. Also, what's going on? Oh, I need to pre-plan um, as well. So I'm gonna use a bow clip by The Giving Girl. These are rose gold. And I think what I'll do is this deeper purpley color, this darker, so pretty. So I like to use bow clips for pre-planning. And then I need to plan with my son. Um, he has his own little bloom daily planner. Actually, he might be going to his dad's house on this Thursday and Friday. So I'm not, I'm gonna leave that out for now. I'm just, I'm not sure. He was supposed to go last week, but then his dad canceled. So now he might be going this week. So I'm going to leave that. We'll see. Um, let's go ahead and move on to Friday. So for Friday, uh, I need to film. And I guess I'll use another one of these half boxes from, from something other, but I'll use the one with the outline. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put in my bills so far because I was thinking like, isn't there always bills due on Friday? Hold on, and I'm like referring to my pre-planner so I can see, you know, what plans do I got coming up? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, I only forgot Tuesday. And then I have a one, two, three, four, five bills for Friday. <clears throat> so let me go back to Tuesday really quick. Okay, wait, I need something. Okay, so I forgot for Tuesday. Here we go. I do have a bill due, um, so I'm gonna use, let's use another one of these from Rose Color Days. Let's use the dashed box, the dashed quarter box. And just mark that in there. And then I have a bill due sticker from Cozy Paper Co. These are not foiled. So as you can see, this is a much larger sheet of a $1 Wednesday, and that's because it's not foiled. So you can pick up even sheets like these that are hand doodled by her that are not foiled, but they're still only a dollar twenty-five. So I guess I had an amazing deal. Okay, back to Friday. So I've got five bills due. Um and one, two, three, four. I want to use these really cute heart checklists that are in this amazing foil. But I've got three. I was counting four from <laughs> from this one because these have four. Um, so I'll, I've got three, and then I'll just like cut a couple more. So we'll do one, two, three, and then uh, I'm gonna use a majority kind of blue one, and I'll cut one of them off. And that way it's four, five. Save this cute little heart. And hold on, let me get rid of that. I hate these. I just hate them. <laughs> these little, I don't know. Like, obviously this could be like a great functional thing if I used them functionally. You know, like maybe if I didn't use so many stickers and washi, I would put down there like what I'm having for dinner every night. You know, I don't know. But they just annoy me because I don't use them and I have to wipe them out <laughs> to each their own, you know? One of these days, though, I want to I wanna do a, um, um, like, all pen and paper plan with me. Maybe pen, paper, highlighter. Like, that's it. So just pen and highlighters. Um, and see how I like it. You know, no washi, no stickers, nothing. And that way I can like maybe color code with the highlighters and do some of that like fake hand lettering that I am not good at. So, you know, bold things a little more. Stuff like that. Maybe draw my own little doodly icon thingies for certain stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But I want to try to do that one of these days. I just, you know, I have my planning style, but I that doesn't mean I'm going to like shun new ideas. I love to try new things. Um, let me know if that's something that you'd like to see on my channel because I just love trying new things and I think it'd be fun. And I would love a challenge. I mean, like not really in real life, but I love a challenge when it comes to like my planning. So that's why I like to use these kits every now and then because they're so little, they're so micro that it's fun to kind of see what I can come up with and, you know, pull in my own things and make my own things like this janky checklist. I don't know. I just like doing new things. So I'm going to try that. 
Anyways, but not right now. But you know, when I do try it, I got a plan. You know, what am I going to do with this planner? Because it's like a whole blank canvas. What am I going to do with this little area down here? And then what am I going to do with these? And who knows? It's all a mystery. Anyways, though, so I've got bills due. Um, and also my son has soccer practice. So I'm going to go ahead and use these soccer practice icons from Sticker Insanity. This is another shop that I PR for. Just make sure you mention my name in the notes to get my freebie. So I'm going to put a little soccer practice thing right here. And then it's also Trash Eve. I always mark Trash Eve in my planner. So I want to use like a little skinny one again. Um, let's use another dashed one because they're fun. So I love these samplers. They're not a, like a free sampler for most color days because they're so big. Um, so you do get little free ones, you know, if you mention like one of like Nikki, you get Nikki's freebie and then um, she gives you just like a general freebie. She, like she's really generous with her freebies. So you get like a little journaling card too. I love her shop, but you, if you want more of a freebie to just kind of see, like a sample of kind of like almost everything in her shop, then I recommend getting one of these, purchasing one of these samplers because there's so much on it. Um, and I'm going to use a trash can icon from the Giving Girl. Like I said, there was going to be a little more black. <laughs> so these are adorable. I'm obsessed with them. Just, they're so cute. They are um, one of her like little doodles from Black Friday, little mini sheets. And I just love these. I love a foiled trash can, <laughs> especially a whole sheet of them. In my opinion, these are rare to find. You might find trash cans mixed with like other cleaning icons, but I like to get like a whole sheet. If I know I'm using it a lot, I want a whole sheet of one icon, you know? And so, especially, and foiled, y'all know I need my foil. So that's hard to find. And so far I've only found them from Magic Prints Co, I think, um, Cozy Paper Co and The Giving Girl. So, so those are your options. <laughs> um, anyways, also let's move on to Saturday now. Um, so Saturday morning, my son has bowling. I'm going to go back to one of these because they're such a pretty color. I can't. I just, I don't know what to call this. It's so stunning though. It's like a deep wine or something. I don't know. Um, I've got bowling and ball icons from Magic Prince Co. As you can see here, this is how much I use rose gold. Like I ordered these in rose gold, but I have used counting this week, a total of three. <laughs> so my son bowls in his little junior league and, um, Yep. Mark that in my planner. And then I do work on Saturdays. I work six days a week because I work part-time for our local community college. So I'm going to use a work script from Sticker Insanity. I really need to order more because obviously I only have, you know, I'm using this one. So I have three more weeks left. <laughs> and then I'm using a laptop icon from Cozy Paper Co. This is another $1 Wednesday. Let's go ahead and use a, you know what, this deep one is really pretty. I'm going to put that right here. And then I work. And I use my laptop at work because um, I um, do a lot of like <clears throat> responding to YouTube comments and reply, replying to emails, deleting emails, you know, just going through my inbox and uh, editing my video and stuff like that whenever I'm like in between, you know, working. So it works out pretty good. Um, and then also on Saturday, we always have our family night. I'm going to move you down a little bit. Oh my gosh, I need to move these stickers out of the way. I got my little section of stickers over here. Okay, they're in the way. There we go. <laughs> Let's move you down to the bottom of Saturday. And so we've got our family night. We always watch a movie or sometimes a TV show. But I will go ahead and... Um, let's put in... Actually, I've got these uh, movie marquees from, the, from Sticker Insanity. And, you know, I'm pulling in little bits of black here and there. So let's go ahead and use one. So I like to write it in as like a memory, you know, why do I keep scuffing them up like that with my nail? Um, I like to write it in as like a little memory of whatever we watched that week. Um, and then well, what am I, what do I have in here that I haven't used that I can use for going to the post office? Um, we always have dinner with them too. Oh, the little, that would have been cute for the bill do, but I like my little envelope. And from these are kind of the same, so... I could use that for like a doctor's appointment. And then the appointment meeting, groceries, meal plan, cleaning laundry. Okay, anyways. I just want to make sure if there's stuff in the kit that I can use, you know, might as well. Um, so then let's see, let's see. Oh, and I totally forgot to fit in film. <laughs> 
Fridays are my filming day. Oh, wait, no, no, this is for filming. Okay, so I didn't forget to film. I just forgot to put my arrow, that's why. Y'all tripping. I was like, wait, I'm forgetting something. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, you know what? I have a black camera from Sticker Insanity. I'm gonna layer it because I film on my phone, but you know, I like to just pretend it's a camera because that's what makes more sense. And we'll just, it's a huge box. Um, this half box is like, I feel like it's bigger than a normal traditional half box. I don't know. Anyways, that's for filming. <laughs> um, and then <clears throat> I think that's, I went back to Friday, sorry. Um, and then that's it for Saturday, I think. Yeah. So then, um, so Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. Let's go to Sunday here. <clears throat> okay, so for Sunday is always my shopping and meal prepping day. So I'm going to use, there is a meal prep like, See oh, here, oh, I'm so tired. Sorry, there's a meal prep like label or well, I don't know what you call the header. Kind of, it's skinnier than a header. And then, but I want to use my very last meal prep script from Aurora and Avalon because I just, you know, I'm about to finish the sheet. So, uh, which again, I I, uh, I pair for them too. Um, so I'm gonna use that, and then I'm gonna use an adorable little grocery cart from the Giving Girl. But what am I going to put it over? Should I put it over um, maybe this, like, this last outlined box, I guess? I want to use this Stardust box, so I'm going to have to find a way to use it during throughout the week, you know? These boxes, these, um, these ones, and then the Stardusty ones, they really remind me of the... Uh, the Hummingbird sub box, which was the very, very first sub box that Simply Gilded ever did. And that washi looks like this. <clears throat> so see the green, the darker green is different, but like see these colors, they look a lot like they go with this kit. Um, so I was going to use these in the sidebar and whatnot, but what you actually saw me end up using was this one, which is very similar as well, but it's got this coppery rose gold foil. I don't remember what where those are from but I have them so <laughs> anyways so that's gonna be for my food journey so let's go ahead and layer these I like to just pop one here and then just write in their groceries and then I don't have to write meal prep because I already have an adorable script for it and obviously as you can see I need to order more because that was my last one whoops okay there we go so now that's that for that. Also, um, Sunday's my cleaning day. Um, cause that's the only time, my only day off. So I'm going to use a little, um, so I'm going to use a vacuum by Sticker Insanity. Um, I guess I'll just use like a dark gray. I don't have any blacks in here. So I'm just going to pop it in the white space, use that. And then normally that would be it for my Sunday, but I also wanted to, um, start prepping my little D stash book because I, I have these little, you know, reusable sticker book stickers and um, I want to like use them, but however, I need to make time to do it. So um, let's try to do that on Sunday. So I'm going to move you down and I will use, what haven't I used? I used two of those. Let's use another one of these because I have only used one on Wednesday over here. You can't see it. So let's go ahead and use another one. And I'll put it down here. And so I don't know what to use for that. I'll use an asterisk. And it's so pretty. Why not? There you go. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, and let's use this gorgeous weekend banner. It's so pretty. So let's use it i love this you know and it's like i didn't think what like what am i gonna ever use why did i buy these these this colorway it's gorgeous obviously rainbow holographic it's so gorgeous but i was like dang it now that i have it i was like when am i ever gonna use these but so far i've been doing pretty good i've been remembering them and i'm like using them whenever i can so i thought this would be gorgeous with this kit and it is and i did have for the yellow green one i used that i don't remember when but i did use part of the yellow green from that sampler too so i have been using them i'm proud of that um now for up here we've got two options these are also part of this um boxes the enchanted forest sub box so they are meant to match um i just don't know i 
I really love Stardust though. But this looks cute too. I could always do the two of them because sometimes I'll do two different ones. But I'm kind of feeling like I want more of the shooting star one. I don't know. So we're going to use it. And um, I'm probably going to have regrets, but oh well. Now, I hate that these boxes are just, again, they're not like traditional Erin Condren size boxes. Because if they were, then it would fit perfectly right there without, so I could take it all the way, you know, like I usually do. Because <clears throat> I always line my boxes up the exact same way every week. I line them up to the very third line here on the planner. Right here, one, two, three. Goes right there. And then it ends up being perfect. I can just go shoop. But her kits, again, the boxes are differently shaped and sized. And so, yeah. Oops. Okay, I really love these colors. Enchanted Forest vibes. Now, also, her kit has like a ton of this deco that I want to put up here. I love the mushrooms. Again, just more Enchanted Forest vibes. So, love that. Um, and then of these moths are cute. I know a lot of people had problems with this kit, with this like sub box because they hate bugs. And so they were like, you know, some people are just like, I can't, even though they're like pretty or whatever, they're just like, Ugh, I can't, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> they were really disturbed by it. I don't like bugs either, but there is an exception that I do make for pretty bugs, like ladybugs and um, butterflies. And, and these are like technically moths uh, apparently, but they're pretty, <laughs> they're pretty moths. <clears throat> So as long as I don't think too much about it, you know, whenever she does, like she did this and she's done like bees before, people are just like, ooh, like some people are just, I can't handle it. And I don't blame them. Bugs are so disgusting. So these little mushrooms are so cute. I wish there was more of them. There's just two and then the little, the big one, two littles and a big. They're so adorable. But, oh well, we've got way too many moths. <laughs> I love these little hearts. These are cute. Sorry about that. That is my son. He has a uh, basketball hoop on the back of his door. And when he throws it, it is incredibly loud. As, as you could hear. Um, so I had to nip that in the bud. I'm almost done. So, okay. That is super pretty. I am so excited. Let me go ahead and fill this all out on camera. Um, and you know, I'll just speed it up so you can watch me fill it out and then I will show you everything after the pens. So hang on one sec.
All right, everyone, that is it for this plan with me. Here's everything after the pen. So gorgeous. I used um, my usual Pilot G205, let's point out, um, to write on the premium matte stickers and the planner paper. And for writing on Simply Gilded, <clears throat> This is a pen that she provided in one of her sub boxes, and it's the Sakura Microperm 03 Ultra Fine Permanent um, pen. So I suggest if you ever write on premium, like it's almost like waterproof vinyl, like her stickers, the new stickers. Um, it's the same as kind of materials like Sweet Quiet Designs. You can't write on regular with regular gel pens because it just smears. Um, so permanent markers or permanent Sharpie pens and stuff, um, Microperm Sakura pens, stuff like that. So. Here's everything after the pen. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did because it helps me out. It helps my channel to grow. Um, definitely subscribe if you're not already. I do these weekly plan with me's, you know, weekly. <laughs> I also do a monthly plan with me, a monthly haul, and bonus videos here and there, like the one I'm filming on Wednesday. So make sure that you are stay tuned so you don't miss any of those videos. Definitely leave me a comment if you have a question about anything or if you just want to say hi. I'll say hi back. I reply to all my comments. Um, and as always, the links to all these shops that I use are always in the description box. So if you want to go check out a shop, make sure you check down there too, because I usually have discount codes or referral links to save you some money. So anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope that y'all enjoy. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see y'all in next week's video. All right. Take care y'all. Bye.